So today we've got some more new info about Contested Territory from Ninja Kiwi, but this time it's not only a teaser, but it's a brief explanation on how the whole thing is going to work, along with when the update is going to be released, which is July. We kinda knew, but they have now officially confirmed the NG Paragon, along with a new Adora skin called Voidora, and a new map called Quarry. So let's get into the Contested Territory explanation and see what we can make of this. So here's how the map is going to look like and from the top right corner we can see that one event is going to last for at least a week and a half. We're going to have 6 teams with 90 players per instance which sort of raises the question of are we going to be teamed with randoms or are we going to be able to play with friends each coming with their own benefits of course. There are over 150 tiles on the map with randomly generated rules and there are 3 different tile categories. Number 1 regular tiles with balanced rewards and leaderboards and monkey knowledge enabled. Number 2 the banner tiles which are the the leaderboard focused ones and no monkey knowledge on these ones and number three are the relic tiles which will have some special relic knowledge no monkey knowledge and these bonuses will persist as long as the tile is held but will give reduced leaderboard rewards there will be four victory conditions for each tile number one is timed so whoever completes it the fastest similar to a race number two is boss timed which is similar to rank boss number three is least cash obviously beating the entire team with the least cash spent and least tiers obviously with the least upgrades on our towers now the tiles will be resetting every 24 hours so there is going to be constant battling but there is a limit on how many moves can be done each day. A move is considered to be whenever there is a high score or a tile was captured but it's still unknown whether moves will be limited to individual players or the team in its entirety. So this update is probably going to be bigger than the boss events update a year ago, a major new change coming to BTS 6 but now we have a bunch of paragons in the mix so really excited for the future of BTS 6 and of course if you guys want to see more of these videos which are going to be update videos as well as the regular content content that you guys have been seeing. Make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 100k. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.